Hey guys, today we're at uh, Woodhill, gonna check out a new jump track called Cider Fries for you. Um, let me come a bit closer so you can actually see me. So I've had lots and lots of requests from the young kids, and not just the kids, as to when I'm gonna hit this thing up. And my first response was, I don't think it's for me, it's kind of steep dirt jumps, they're all close together, not really my scene. But the thing is, you ride past this every time I come here, the kids are having fun on it, you think I can probably do it. So anyway, I'll go and let's show you. Uh, we'll start, you give a quick tour of the track. Oh, sorry there, I forgot you're on a tripod. Um, come with me. Okay, so this is jump number one. Got a oh, relatively steep lip, so it kind of throws you up there a bit. And it's not an insignificant gap over to there. I'm um, saying that it's got a relatively big case pad. Um, some people get freaked out by the fact that the landings are on different angles, but I just straight line it. But here's the issue, right? Here's the issue. Um, the run into this is you've got a turn, you've got this sh sharp berm turn here, uh, another turn there. So you've got to try and come down that hill, not break, which is the hard bit, literally come flying down that hill, no brakes, into this corner, so you're doing a what are we doing? We're a right hand turn into a left hand turn into another right hand turn and then to clear this. And to be honest, this is quite a, a mental, I'm trying to think of a polite word to say, but it, anyway, it does freak you out a little bit. And this is where a lot of people tend to case. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, jump number two. Um, I guess the thing about this is there's, it's almost immediately after jump number one, so there's no time to do anything. But it looks pretty mellow, this one, actually. I think you should be good. And then, quite a steep landing on it, though, I must say. If I can walk down it. Whoa. And then this one here, I believe there has been some carnage on this jump. It's actually quite a sizable gap. Um, the trail actually used to ride through the middle of here. The bike used to ride, people used to ride through here. But, yeah, so there's a decent old gaps coming down there. Little steepish lip, but only short. Um, always worries me when you look here and you see sort of tire marks like way down here. So there's been some pretty, pretty epic cases. Moving on. Looks like you can kind of do a little hip there if you want to, or just you could just roll and pump through it. And then this is the one that I've been having nightmares about. Um, you, if, you, if you follow the channel, you know that I'm not a big fan of steep lips. And this is a steep lip. It's a very small gap, actually. Um, it's actually a very small gap, but it's one of those ones that throws you up in the air. Um, so I'm not sure about that. You can see there's lots of tie marks on the side here. So a lot of people are obviously just practicing uh, going up the lip and then coming off the side. And I might even have a go at that myself. All right, so if you land that okay, let's roll down here. And then it kind of, the, the feeling of the track changes completely. It goes into all these little sort of shark fin little gaps. They're only small, although again, you can, lots of tire marks where people have cased it. Again, they're really close together. So you've got to, you've got to, I'm trying to use nice words here, get your stuff together. And uh, yeah, the gaps are really small. So I don't think you need a lot of speed. You just need your technique to be right, I think. Getting there, we're nearly at the end. Poppity pop pop pop, pop over this one. It's really well made though. I must admit, super impressed with uh, with Woodhill. Over the last few years, this has become, if you like your jumps, this has become the place to come out. All right, nice berm here. Look how well made all this stuff is. And then there's kind of like a really steep little step up here, which uh, looks pretty cool, but that is super steep. If I can get out of here. Ooh. And then you just have to remember to turn and not hit that tree with a pad on it, and you're done. All right, well, that's the track walk for you. It looks pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Um, there's a few bits that make me nervous in there. Um, but anyway, let's start with jump number one. Well, you can only really start with number one, can't you? All right, big boy pants time. Whee, we're over. I think it might have been a tire tap slightly, but we'll take it. Well, that was too easy. I don't know what all the fuss was about. 
okay, full disclosure time, I can't lie to you guys. Um, I've already done that jump before. In fact, I've done the first three. Um, but I've got a rule when I do jumps. I have one run in, and if I do the second time and I bail, I just don't do it. You, I, I always have in my head that you're like, you know, you do one run in if you want it, and then you're doing it. I had six run ins the other day at this thing. Uh, it's not because I wasn't committing to the jump, it's because maintaining down the hill and all those corners and maintaining speed is actually quite difficult. I must admit, I do just tether the brake slightly on the corner. Um, I probably shouldn't. Um, but anyway, let me show you the second jump. Now I have showed you this jump already, this is the second jump, and I said that this isn't too much of a challenge. Actually this jump is really, really easy to clear, in fact it's really, really easy to over clear it. And that's what I did the first time, landed about flat on the, on the bottom there, and of course you can't do the next one. So uh, yeah, you really don't want to go long on this because the next one you definitely need to be able to pump down and generate speed for the next one. Anyway, let's do jump number two. Alright, jump number two. Or a bit slow, but we still got enough speed, you see. Which brings us on to jump number three. Yes, I have done jump number three, I've only done it once. It's a big old gap, and the tricky part about it is well, let me show you. Reasonable case pad, as I say, there's been some people casing it, I've seen people casing it. Um, the gap between the landing on this one and the takeoff on this one is really, really short. And last one, I actually got it wrong. I cased the first one and I didn't quite feel right. So I'm probably going to have two or three goes at this until I feel I've got it sweet. All right, we need to tidy up this first one, I think. It's better. It's better. Yeah, we're over. Woohoo, it's a big gap. It's a big gap, isn't it? Woo! Yeah, we're over. Yeah, we're over. All right, by my calculation, that makes us up to jump number five. You're saying, what about four? Four scares me a lot. Uh, it's really, yeah, anyway. Let's go to number five, because I think I can ride round number four. And let's see, do the bottom ones, and then if if we'll see at the end if we've got number four in us. If we don't get number four, well, you've seen most of it, haven't you? And I'll show some kids jumping number four. Um, but anyway, let's let's do the bottom ones. All right, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? We'll just keep going, and well, see how far we get. Coming in. Whoa, over jump there. Whoa, over jump there too. Little hop over that, but slow, bit of speed. Way, hey, we did the whole line. How about that? Who expected that? Whoa, that's actually quite fun. Might do it one more time. Whoa, over jump there. Whoa, over jump there too. Whoa, over jump there. Whoa, over jump there too. All right, we'll have another go. Turns out it's pretty chill, really. Oh, that's a bit slow. All right, well, you know what? We're back at number four. And I'm sweating on this one, I must admit. Now, if you've watched some other videos, I've got various tricks and rules that I do for jumping. And one of them is to warm up on jumps you're familiar with before doing something you're scared of. Now, the problem is, I haven't done anything really this steep. Well, I have, but you saw that. That was the airbag, and that didn't go well, did it? Um, so... I went and did three jumps that I'd never done before. I went up to the airfield. I figured if I couldn't do the first three jumps on the airfield, then I couldn't do this thing. So do you want to see that? I did that this morning. Up, up, yep. Up, and down. Up. Okay, so I managed to get over those three jumps in the airfield. Really stoked. They've been there for 10 years, and I've always wanted to do them, but again, steep little dirt jumps don't seem my thing. Now this thing, again, let's have a closer look. 
So you come down and it's quite mellow, quite mellow, quite mellow, quite mellow. Oh my God, it's just got suddenly vertical. And that's the thing that freaks me out. And I must admit, even on the airfield, the lips are nowhere near that steep, or the three that I did are nowhere near that steep. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? Oh, shivers me, divers far out. Okay. Was hoping just to pop up on the top and see what that felt like, but uh, yeah, that wasn't a very good idea, I don't think. I'm gonna try something completely different. I'm gonna try on the, just jumping off to the side like some of the kids have been doing. Oh yeah, it's probably not too bad. Probably about the right speed. Really struggling with this fourth jump. It's just that steep lip, that idea of going straight up into the air rather than going forward. Um, I've been watching videos, I've been imagining myself, picturing myself doing it at night. Um, I can't sleep, I have to get over this thing. Um, now this, you guys are probably not going to be that impressed, but as you worked out, there's nobody actually with me. Um, I wanted the guys to come. They had something to do with W. I can't remember what it was, but they, they couldn't come. Um, so it's just me. I've checked my cell phone, and there's no reception actually at this point. Luckily, though, I've got my Garmin InReach Mini with me. So if you see me lying on the other side of this jump, um, and I'm not moving, if I could just ask one of you just to press the little SOS button on the side, that would be much appreciated. It's time to get it done, though. Okay, come in. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, we're over. We're over. Okay, you can stop typing, stop typing, stop typing for a second. Yeah, I know that technique was terrible. I know I didn't get much height. I know it looked ugly, but I got over it and I do feel good. So anyway, you know what it means? We've got to do one full run. So right from the top to the bottom, let's see if we can get a whole run clean. All right, it seems ages since I've been up the top here. But anyway, let's give it a go. Oh, a little bit short. Oh, that's better. Got right up and over. Am I going fast enough? Oh, a bit slow now. We you're gonna have to really pop. Come on. Yep, now we're good. We're good. Yeah. One full run. There you go. Woo. All right, I am gonna sleep so well tonight. I've been thinking about this every night in bed. I've just been thinking about these jumps, mainly jump number four. Um, really happy to get over it. Uh, interesting set of jumps, really. First one, you just have to learn how to go flat out down that hill. Second one, you have to learn to get height rather than distance so that you can pump down. Third one is a big pull. Uh, you definitely need to pump and pull and get over that one. It's not a flow jump. Jump number four, well, don't take any of my advice because that wasn't pretty, but I did get up and down and we didn't need the old EPIRB thing. Saying that uh, about the thing, I shouldn't make jokes, but this has actually been quite busy. I've been talking to people coming and going. I knew this would be a busy spot and worst comes to worst, I could push the button and get emergency help if need be. But anyway, that wasn't required. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend jumping on your own. Um, not really a clever idea. Anyway, so after jump number four, the thing I really struggled with and took me ages is that I don't have enough speed because I'm not getting enough height to do the, uh, the, do the final ones. But anyway, we got there. Um, why do I do this? I really don't know, but it's, I just can't sleep at night knowing they've built something that I haven't jumped. So yeah, I don't know. Um, if you've enjoyed all the effort and me risking my life and limb to make a video for you guys, i uh, love it if you subscribed. Thumbs up, like. I'm looking forward to your comments on this one and well, we'll see you on the next one. We got the power. We're here forever and never. We're the ground breaking.